Hi, everyone. Mm. Katie, I've missed, missed you. Oh, so I've much. missed you too. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a, a week. We had to take a week off. We, we had to take a week off. And there were some uh, other things that, funnily enough, we were working on together that we had to... <laughs> <laughs> just sort of go yeah. we haven't got time for this this week <laughs> <laughs> and you you guys got two episodes back to back so you know you were we felt pretty well. good about yeah not doing anything for a week yeah i i i, I still miss you so much Aww. Aww. <laughs> and you can't pick up on the reference so i mean stop doing it <laughs> or i'm just I doing think it it's 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 like it's tickling something in my head but i don't know it well enough wait, to like wait i i will i will do a better impression i just have to prepare <clears throat> okay <laughs> <clears throat> i've missed you so much no it's not it's not enough i, I can't damn it. <laughs> and it's not i don't think it's not i honestly don't think it's not fuck me <laughs> <laughs> I will help with uh, the second trailer just came out today. Oh, is this for Venom? Yeah. <laughs> I watched that trailer once. <laughs> but you know the the previous one, like the first one as well? Yeah, I only watched it once. <gasps> oh no. I I don't watch trailers that many times really. Oh. I will watch it once and be like, "Cool, that was interesting," and then I won't look at it too much again. Oh. The only trailer I watched like an obsessive amount of times were the Cloud Atlas trailer, which is like 5 minutes long, and the um tequila based yes. trailer for um <laughs> Baby Driver just cuz yes. that was so good. Which we talked about, but I which we I, did. I I had to rewatch this because I think Woody Harrelson is just going to steal the fucking show like. Yeah. I, the way he talks in it, like, you know, you already know Woody's voice. It's like, it's so iconic. Mm. I really like his voice. But, like, I don't know what how he does it, but it, oh, it's so good. I can't even, I, I can't even mimic him properly. Mm. But it was it was a reference to him. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Um, real quick, I just want to point out, we are not on video today because my Lipic start, decided to sort of blow up into a balloon shape last night. And I've decided that I don't want to be seen on camera. <laughs> That's what Botox do to you. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't good. It was. It was very. It was truly very bad. Um, I, I sent Lily a very sad-looking image of me this morning yes. with my hair looking all dishevelled and a big old flannel shoved onto my <laughs> lip. Like this is fine. <laughs> it's them. better than it was, but it's okay. <laughs> I just. It, it. I don't feel entirely great about being on camera currently. So we're doing it the old fashioned way. <laughs> yeah, which is, you know, it's I, I actually weirdly enough, I like to listen back to us like this a bit more. <laughs> mm. I don't know why. It's just it has I mean, a different a, feeling. I don't know. It is a podcast. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's true. It's true. It is. Uh do you wanna introduce the podcast then? Yeah, I should probably do that. Yeah. Hi everybody. <laughs> Welcome to all the films we judged before. I'm Katie, and that other lovely voice you hear is Lily Kay. Ah, Katie has a beautiful voice as well. Oh, obviously. And uh, I am not Troy Baker. I am Troy Faker. I didn't even do this in a long time, so I felt like that. You know, just bring it back. Just bring it back. Um, and and also, uh, I am back to work. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, we're still going to do it, obviously, because, yes, duh. Uh, but uh, if sometimes you feel like my, so my sound, so my voice <laughs> sounds a bit tired or something like that, <laughs> it's, it's because of, I'm tired. I think we're both pretty tired today. Uh, yeah. Probably. You've been, you've been working all day. I had a really early start yesterday because I had to go do some. We we went and did some family stuff, but it meant that I was awake at six, oh, uh, yes. and just fully exhausted all day. <laughs> um, and then I I mean I slept like a solid twelve hours last night, and I'm still exhausted. Oh my god, twelve hours! I I've never slept for two, twelve hours. That's, that's oh I, I I I yeah I can I can sleep like the dead. Uh, oh. It is truly. An impressive thing that I have under my belt. Yeah, it it, it is impressive. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like twelve hours. Jesus Christ. How there have been times <laughs> where there have been times where I have been 
uh, I've I've lacked sleep so much that I've ended up sleeping 13 hours total. Oh my god. Yeah. How? <laughs> I like I like sleeping. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Very big fan of sleep. No, oh, I mean, I had a friend like you once who was like, yeah, I like sleeping a lot. And then he would just go to sleep and sleep for like 14 hours and 16 and things like that. And I was like, Jesus that's Christ. A, that, that's a bit, that, I think at a certain point, If you're doing that regularly, I'm worried. Uh, yeah, it's, it's worrying, but you know, he just likes sleeping. I do like sleeping. Yeah. Sleeping is great. This is why when people are like, no, sleep is for the week. I'm like, no, no, no. You need sleep for your brain. You just go to sleep. It's so good for you. <laughs> Please. Fair, 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 fair. Um, so today, it, I, I just told Katie that I, uh, because I was drawing and everything and And I fell mm -hmm. bad and I ended up in the emergency again because, you know, it's me. So you shouldn't mm -hmm. even be surprised at this point. Uh, I ended up watching a lot of things. Like, yeah. a lot. <laughs> so I, on the other hand, have not been watching anything because <laughs> I've been <laughs> working very hard on this project. <laughs> that's, that's true. And you did an amazing job. And uh, I think, you know, I, we already got the thumbs up and that's already words out that uh, we've both been working on my book. Uh, mm -hmm. Katie is my editor and yep. she's fucking great, just so you all know. Um, oh, shucks. Uh, come on. Uh, she did an amazing job with it. Like, you know, I, I am obviously not British or American or anything like that. English, English is not your first language. No. It is not. And uh, I think uh, what you did um, just wonderfully is that you understood what I wanted to say and just made mm. it a lot better a lot of times. And I, I you know, I just I, I just looked at it and I was like, ah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, that's it. That, that's that's it. Uh, that This girl gets me. So it worked out wonderfully. I'm not going to lie. Mm. Like <laughs> I'm over the moon and uh, now it's a waiting game because we need to, uh, you know, have uh, the beta readers uh, do their job as well and uh, some graphic work needs to come in. And then guys, just think about us on the 15th of August when we mm -hmm. have to send it to the publisher and wait for judgment, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's been it's been a, a long term labor of, of love yes. and uh, something I have very much enjoyed doing. And I'm also very glad to not be doing any more <laughs> just because I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fair enough. <laughs> Completely fair. I will do it again. Just not right now. I need no. a bit of a break. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, 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 well, I told you that uh, I definitely have the inspiration for, for book two because it's not going to be just one book. Because even though I complained a lot about books not being able to finish the story in one book, I am doing the exact same thing. Um, but uh, yeah, every time I sit down to write it, uh, yeah, I'm still tired. My brain is not functioning properly for it. So I'm like... Let's wait. wait a little bit yeah you just wait a bit you need to yeah. let that marinate with you for a little while and, and and then you'll be able to write it much better yeah exactly exactly and you know i'm just like fingers crossed at this point uh, <laughs> let's wait and see but uh you know we have plan b and c and d and all the all the other Uh, things because uh, you have to have them. Uh, we already had some good ideas from other very helpful people on what to do if this publisher says no and uh, yeah, we're gonna fight for this one because we have to. Just gonna yeah, it's like we've put the work in. It's, mm -hmm. gonna, it's gonna end up there somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might take some time but it's okay. We're, we're <laughs> ready. Hey, ready. Um, but yeah, um, It's, it was a really, really, really good journey. I really enjoyed doing it. I'm not going to lie. Mm. Uh, and uh, that's why we were a bit all over the place, both of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, uh, it was a lot of... For some reason, my, my work schedule ended up being get up, um, uh, uh, kind of try and be chill for most of the day and ended up working from like six until like two in the morning because that was mm. apparently the only time I could actually get shit done 
<laughs> I was uh, like, I, uh, after a while, I was like, okay, <laughs> why not? Because I always saw when you went up and uh, did it, and I was like, okay, if this is what works for you, then why not? <laughs> I mean, it really shouldn't be the way things work for me, but it is apparently the the, the only. Th it eventually, it was the only way that like made, um, made sense uh, to my brain. Because there were a couple of times where I was like, "I'm going to get this done," and then I'd sit down and be like, "I have got no concentration left." <laughs> <sighs> but it's fine. We got it done. It's fine. I, yeah. I, I finished it. Yeah. And it's great. This is a good book. Yeah. Um, and hopefully, at some point, you'll be able to read it. That but is... it does mean, yeah. Go, go on. I was just gonna say, but it does mean that I haven't really watched any like television recently, yes. other than, and and in my in the spare time I have had, I've been rewatching um, Dimension Twenties, mm. Fantasy High sophomore year, mm -hmm. uh, which you know nothing about, so I can't really talk too much about it. <laughs> but I've been having a good time with it. Good. I I will look into it. Um... But, uh, I have many things to catch up on, and yeah. basically that's what I did so far. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, it's just gonna be like this episode is gonna be filled with things that I watched, I guess. Mm. <laughs> um, uh, first, I will say that I finished one of the best TV shows that I watched in a while, and uh... that was Shit's Creek. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, I I already told you that. Thank you for pushing me to watch it. Uh, it's it it has been a very very good journey, and uh, just you know, I I cried my eyes out. I'm not even gonna pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> Listen, I and I've said this to you before, and I've said this to basically most people. I love I love TV shows that are about. Um, the idea that when we are good to each other, we inspire goodness in others. Yeah. And Shit's Creek is very much one of the epitomes of that. <laughs> just yeah. sort of like they go to this town and they're kind of shitty, and then the people around them just treat them with as they just welcome in, them in, and they're like, "Hey, you're here now, and we're gonna look after you." And then they just become better people as they go along and they grow. And it's like everything about this is wonderful. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, at the point where it it really takes shape and and says that like the series itself says it as well is when in season two uh the day um moira and uh, uh is this the, the dinner the dinner yeah 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 and they meet Wait. with their friends and then roland and uh arrives and and you know they start to talk shit about shit's creek and and then there's that beautiful monologue that we live there and and it's 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 like, uh, I cried so much on that. <laughs> it's not called Shitsville, it's called Shits Creek and it's yes. where we live. And it's yes. like, yes, yes it is. Yes. And I was like, oh, <laughs> this is so nice. <laughs> uh, I, so, yeah, beautiful. It's, it truly is one of the, I mean, it is one of my favorite shows. And oh, I, it, it's really, it, it, yeah, I mean, I've spoken about it so many times mm. uh, and it, it's one of those things where I, there are, I've seen some people who try to watch the first season and they're just like, I don't understand this at all. I don't like it at all. Uh, it's like... Um, and I, I kind of get it because I don't think the first season is its best. Um, mm. uh, it, it's like, it's just pretty good in places, but I also just sort of sat there and was like, eh. I, I didn't vibe entirely with the first season, but I heard that so many good things about it that I just kind of kept sticking it on. And I really think... Yes, that that moment um, that we just spoke about in season two is one of the sort of changing points. Yeah. I think the really big sort of uptick is the introduction of Patrick in, yes. in season three, because yeah. that really solidifies the direction in which the show then ends. But it also brings, I mean, Noah Reed is so fucking wonderful. Oh, yeah. He is. <laughs> and he brings like lovely energy, especially to David, who is. Oh, I love David. We just love, love him so dearly. I. Uh... <laughs> David, David is my 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 favorite. But to be fair, I love all of them. Like mm -hmm. you know, all of them were freaking great. Uh, even you know, if at first I was like, "Oh God, you guys are a bit annoying," 
<laughs> I hated at first. I hated Moira's uh, accent. I was like, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't listen to it. And then it grew on me so much that uh, <laughs> it's just Moira's voice. Uh, it's, it's like it's so it's sort of like what accent is that? I don't know. That's just Moira. <laughs> it's just so good, so good. It grows oh, on okay. you. And I, you know, it 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 happened to me. I was like, oh yeah, I I love this woman. <laughs> Catherine O'Hara oh. is a fucking genius. Yes, she's a national treasure. <laughs> Comedy, um, everything about her. I mean, I, there's a. Um, oh my god, actually, because I don't think I ever talked to you about this. The fucking um, uh, rosé or the fruit wine monologue. Oh my god, <laughs> is one of my favorite pieces of comedy ever. <laughs> <laughs> and I recommend people just look it up on its even on its own. I think it's so goddamn funny. It is. Um, <laughs> hi, I'm Myra Rose, <laughs> and if you like fruit wine as much as I do, <laughs> it was so good. Oh god, oh. Oh, it's just uh, there are so many great moments, mm -hmm. so it's hard to pick like. You know, one favorite, mm. I guess. Uh, if I would have to pick just one, no. I think, <laughs> I think it's it's when Patrick sings simply the best to David. That's like yeah, that's yeah. one of the truly the greatest ones. Oh my god, um, so good. I, he, <laughs> it's the fact that you kept messaging me like I can't stop crying. I'm like, don't worry, there's more. Yeah, and I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> it will keep happening. I was like, no, <laughs> I can't. Because, you know, I was watching it while I was drawing. So, you know, the Punisher was crying when I was drawing him. <laughs> like, you know, um, um, Aloy was crying because I was drawing her. And I was like, oh, I can't, I can't do this. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it was the... It was the good kind of of, of crying. Uh, yeah, I, I I would I would definitely uh, say that uh, because it, it it you know it, I cried because I cared for these people and they they meant so much and you know I wanted to be their friend I wanted to be in their family and uh, it, it, this is something that rarely happens when it comes to TV shows like it it really has to find that sweet 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 spot where where it happens mm. and uh you know the the only other and i think I, I i said this that there are only two other shows that i feel the same way about it one of them is friends which i grew up mm. in and the other one is target universe like uh, you know uh, i i love them very dearly uh the same way that i now freaking love sheets creek so <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I will continue getting everybody on the Shit's Creek hype train. Oh, uh, as I, I said me on Twitter. Too. Me too. I'm, I'm with <laughs> as you. Said, as I said on Twitter, I have great taste and everybody should watch Shit's Creek. Yes. That's very true. That's very true. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. I love Shit's Creek so much I bought a jumper for, with Rosa Path carry on it, which cost me like, I think something like £80. <laughs> The actual jumper didn't cost eighty pounds. That was um, a part of that. It was like it was like sixty. It was like fifty bucks, and then the rest of it ended up being um, uh, shipping charges. Oh god! Because <laughs> trying to get anything shipped over to the UK from America is like, oh, yeah. do you want to spend? Do you want? Would you like to spend about twenty five pounds on shipping? And I'm like, for this, I will. <laughs> <laughs> and it's I love that. I do love that jumper actually very much. It's it's so comfortable, and I don't have very many like over the. I wear a lot of hoodies. I don't wear a lot of jumpers, mm. um, but that jumper is very nice for when I can't be bothered to, to uh, get dressed properly, and I just want to stick on something warm. <laughs> <laughs> and it's you got second, a so. and you got a t-shirt from me. I do. I have a t-shirt from you. I haven't worn that one as much just because um uh I don't know. I actually just haven't worn that one as much, but I I I have it. It's in my drawer. I don't know exactly where it is. Maybe I'll wear it tomorrow. Who knows. We'll uh, lovely. I need to get some merch as well. I, <laughs> I need it in my life. Um, uh, the other, oh, before we go on to the next one, uh, mm. the other good news is that uh, it looks like I will be able to go to Comic Cons. 
Oh, sweet. Yeah, because uh, the UK and uh, the uh, US and the EU made an agreement that uh, from now on, if you are fully vaccinated, you don't have to quarantine when you arrive to the UK. So I'm like... Huh. Well, there you go. Well, fucking done. Uh, so if it all goes well, I will be there in October and in November as well. Uh, that's the plan. That's the plan. We'll see. Oh, I hope so. Yeah. Uh, I hope. Um, my hope would be is that um, October will go ahead as planned, and I, I will come and I'll so. be able to see. I'll be able to see you. But yeah. I'm also kind of hoping that we can get the critical role cast to come over because that was what I was meant to do last yeah. May when yeah. it got cancelled. Yeah. Yeah. And then I can do two birds, one stone, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, Obviously, yeah. I'd come for you anyway, but like, <laughs> would really like to be able to that was, <laughs> get uh, back past the photo <laughs> with the Chris Grohl cast that I've been <laughs> wanting to get for so long. Yeah. That, that would have been my next question if, if you're going to come for me. <laughs> Why are you just I'm answering? You. <laughs> I mean, yeah, of course. We still haven't met. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> So that needs to happen, and and I have a feeling that uh, a lot of our UK friends are actually going to be there. Uh, mm. So I am actually hoping to organize some kind of not reunion because we haven't met yet. <laughs> yeah, a meet up. Meet up. Yes, yes. Uh, I really much re- I, like you know. I'm I'm just saying very. I try to be quiet, but I I'm most interested in you. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need to know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's it's uh, like it's a, no, it's not <laughs> um, fine. I love all of you, but like Kate is taking hmm. up a very special place in my heart. I'm not gonna lie. So. Oh, I am curious. Like uh, I don't know if about how tall are you? I'm a uh, 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 how do you say that in the UK? Uh, five three. Oh shit! Really? Yeah, I'm small. I might be. I might be taller than you. Probably. It's not hard. <laughs> But, like, I'm usually the one that I'm like, you might be surprised about how short I am. Okay, how tall are you then? I'm about 5'4. Oh, then you are taller than me. So, if you are actually 5'3, then this. Oh, wow. I, I thought you were taller than me. I nope. thought you were like 5'6 five, five, or something mm-hmm. like that. Not even close. Wow. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a hobbit. Fascinating. Okay. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, I'm just so used to people being way taller than I expect them to be. Because um, <laughs> I'm short. Um, I, I, I will have to disappoint you on that front. I'm not no, 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 it's fine. I don't mind. It, it, it's just I'm so. Um, I, it's in my. I have. Um, yeah, most of my friends are all taller than me. So when I when I meet people and they they end up actually being kind of either my height or a bit smaller, I'm like, what? This is so. This is not a usual thing for me. <laughs> I give good hugs though. I can. Yeah, I give pretty, I, I I give pretty decent hugs. At least I I try to. Good. Um, I trust you. Mm-hmm. I love hugs, so you know. Hugs are saying. good. Hugs are amazing. Uh, <laughs> I will also say before anyone comes for me is that uh, Lian is probably gonna be there, so I can't wait to meet Lian as well. Uh, Lovely. And, and I don't know who else is confirmed uh, that they're going to come, but we love you all. And, uh, you know, I will have a stand. So please find the art of Lily Kay uh, uh, mm. in there. Uh, it's, 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 it's and then buy happen. some. What? Who said that? Who, who was that, Kate? <laughs> I don't know. It's so, so weird. So strange. <laughs> Uh, but they yeah. clearly want you to. Them, they clearly want people to buy your art, so I think that, we should listen to them. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, it did. It did sound like that. So you know, just listen to the nice voice, guys. Just <laughs> you know, wink, wink. Uh, <laughs> I will try and bing, bing. What is bi- Chandler Bing? I will bing. Uh, We're doing really well today. Yeah, fantastically. Uh, I will try and bring uh, some t-shirts as well. But I don't know if that can happen, so it's you know I don't want to promise it if I can do it. Um, but what? But I wanted to say one more thing. Oh yeah, I'm I'm at the nervous stage because they are doing a new um, system at MCM, which mm-hmm. is basically that we first had to apply uh, to be there, and they were the ones deciding if we can attend as as vendors. Uh, and that, and then I got accepted, and in the email it said that uh, we would get another email in about five to seven days, 
uh, where we can pay the deposit uh, for our table. And it's the seventh day <laughs> and nothing came through. So I'm like, do I message them? Yes. <laughs> Always. <laughs> if you've already got one through, you should definitely follow up. Yeah. So I, that's, that's what's going to happen. I wanted to wait until the end of the seventh day. So they are not like, oh, it's just, you know. Uh, but I will message them because I will get overly stressed out and anxious about this. And I really want to be there in October. So I'm not taking no for an answer. Mm. No, no. Good no. shout. Good. Um, so anyway, I don't know why I had to share that information. Oh, yeah. I will buy a lot of merch, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know. I don't tend to buy very much when I go to MCM. Really? Oh, my God. No, I'd like the most of the, the money. I go, the money I have tends to go on. Um, I, I usually go because there's somebody I want to see. Hmm. Um. So my money will go on the autographing and the, the, the photographs oh, and all yes. that sort of stuff. Um, but I usually will walk around and be like, there's not really much here that I like want. Oh my God, um, really? Yeah, I, do, I don't tend to see a whole lot of stuff that I... I, I if it's For me, that kind of convention thing is more about the people yeah. uh, and the like the, I have, I've, the going to the panels and all that sort of like that kind of stuff as opposed to the mm. vendors. Yeah. Um, because I, yeah, I just haven't seen... I also don't have space to be buying like art. Oh my god! <laughs> I have no space on my walls. Like I have like a big, I have a big blue wall that hasn't got anything on it, but that's my feature wall. So it's like I don't really want to put a whole lot of stuff on it. Huh. The only thing that's up on that wall is the uh, display uh, poster that lovely Thinith got me for Christmas. Oh, yeah, which yeah, says yeah. the Winchester Tavern on it. Those display posters, by the way, very nice. Oh yeah. What about yeah. the art prints that I sent you for? Christmas. I have this still. It's just one of those things where it's like I want to put that in the frame, and I don't ah. have any frames. Okay. Okay. I have so many posters that are currently under my desk that need frames. <laughs> Most of them being the um, I've got three out of the last, I think four. Oh no, actually, sorry, I just realized. I think I ordered it. No, hang on, never mind. That I, I think I, I ordered a bunch of um, of the. Uh, what are they called? Last of Us posters mm -hmm. from, from the Outbreak days. Yeah. And now I'm suddenly wondering how many of them I actually have. Because I think I can't remember the last time I ordered them. <laughs> I have the I have the um I have the Abby one with the just the arm and the hammer. Yeah. And I have the one of, of Joel and Ellie um by the, the fireplace with the wolf. And I think I have the other two that they did of just like the full ones. Mm. But I'm just like going through my in my head over the um the tubes I happened under my desk, and I'm like I, th I ordered another two, mm. like the full body ones that they did the year after. Yeah, um, and I think I'll have to check that later because I'm like, did I get those? <laughs> <laughs> I, <think> I did. <laughs> well, very expensive. This is why I'm wondering about this because if I paid a bunch of money and they never turned up and I didn't question it, that would have been why. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> never do that. Never do that. Um, yeah, I, I like I, you know. You already saw my collection of photo ops. Mm. I mean, I spend a lot of money on people. I want to meet. Yeah, <laughs> but it's, I've been. I've, you know, yeah, it I've only been going to them like a few times. Um, the the last one was was when I went to see you. We, funnily enough, we've talked about this a little bit before. I don't know if we mentioned it on the podcast. We know. both went to see Simon Pegg on the same day at yes. MCM, and you're pretty sure you saw me in that. <laughs> Hundred percent sure. Like, <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Not a I I, I I even think that you were standing right in front of me. I'm not even joking. I. I think yeah. You no. Were. Yeah. The, it's just the wildest thing uh, when that sort of thing happens. It's like, wait, <laughs> what? Are you sure? <laughs> I am. I am pretty. I am pretty sure. Like you know, it's. I th I I am almost ninety nine point nine percent sure that it was it was you actually that 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 was there like you know, it, especially once we started talking, I was like, wait a second, <laughs> hang on a hang minute. On a minute. Um, I have like total face blindness, well not complete, like but like I'm so bad with people, um and like remembering people, um that if if I had seen you, it it did it, it wouldn't it. I probably wouldn't remember just because <laughs> totally these things I just don't remember faces properly at all 
or names, as I think has been very yeah, well pal. documented yeah. on this Same. lovely podcast of us. Yep, yep. We are bad with names, guys. That's, you know, we just accept that. We're bad with names. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yes. I, I did watch many more things. Yes. Uh, and <laughs> before we get into the next one, which is mm. not going to be the one you are waiting for. Okay. Anyway, it's it's coming. It's coming. Um, I will. <laughs> I will say this. Toucan's favorite game is beak wrestling. The only drawback is only two can play. <laughs> it's. <laughs> it's like it's the most obvious like. Okay. Uh, Okay, Uh, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna pivot a little bit here. (laughs) This is the sort of thing I love. A good pun that wasn't a good pun. My point being here is that my friend, my friend, a dear friend of mine, was making a a magical item for his D and D campaign, right? Mm -hmm. And he was talking about how it was this box, and it was called like. Oh, it's 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 like a I can't remember the word for it now, but it was like a word for like um I think it's the prognosticator, which is like to, prognostication is about like seeing the future and all this sort of stuff. And he was giving me a bunch of information about because he wanted to see what I would do if I were in the in the um the situation, um whether it you know if I was in the situation or I got this magical item, what would I kind of poke at and all that sort of stuff. When he was happy with that, he was like, um inside there's going to be this like um this like. Uh, some kind, something with like a fl- and he was like it's going to have this like raspberry flavour to it it's going to have absolutely no meaning to it or anything like that it's mm. just going to taste like raspberries and I'm going to see what, if it's going to fuck with them enough and I just went turned to him and went does that mean it's um flavour text oh the silence <laughs> do, you know, do, you, do you know what flavour text is yes <laughs> <laughs> I was very pleased with myself for that one. I I bad humor. <laughs> I facepalm myself, but you, know, you can't see it. <laughs> that that. You just have to trust me. But... So quiet that I was like, oh god. <laughs> Don't worry, I registered it. Uh, <laughs> the the reason why my joke was very important. <laughs> yes, right. I, is, I yeah. Is the next movie. It's because it's uh-huh. a movie, and I wrote mm-hmm. you right uh, I, while I was watching it, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, and fun fact, I watched it again, but at, in the cinema uh, mm. uh, on Sunday. And uh, it's it's from The Jungle Cruise. Mm. And it's it's the first joke that Dwayne The Rock Jones' character, Frank, says. And everyone, like, you know, they are on the, on, on the cruise, and, and all the people are looking at him like, oh, dude, this was so bad. And I was the only one who was laughing. I was like, <laughs> the way I did I, it before. I need you to know that I love how funny you find these, even <laughs> if I don't think they're good. <laughs> it's very endearing. <laughs> oh God, I don't know why I love them so much. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I know they are bad. <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> well, my mom said to me actually a very interesting thing is that you're you're kind of understanding uh, these puns in a language that isn't like. It's like you're coming into it from from a different language, so when you get it, it's like, oh, that's great. Whereas the rest of us, like fucking English speakers, are just like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and for me, it's just you know, I just die. <laughs> I just think that's very sweet. Oh God, I and I love. Okay, I I even wrote you like you know, it's a conversation we had on this because it's like mm. we it, that movie is basically us. Like I'm not even joking. Like Frank. AKA Dwayne The Rock Johnson is me. Like he was keep saying this pun and I, I was dying and and <laughs> <laughs> and the reactions he got from Lily, funnily enough, uh, mm-hmm. AKA Emily Blunt is basically you. <laughs> and it's our interactions whenever I say my horrible jokes. So I was like, I was very pleased with this movie, not just because of this, by the way. This is a very good version, but it's. It it brings back memories of the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie, which was freaking mm. excellent. Uh, it it has the same magic to it. Uh, I think 
choosing Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Emmy Brown to to do these characters was like the best decision they could have made. Uh, such a good chemistry they have. It's it's um it's unreal. I I really enjoyed watching them, uh, and I highly recommend watching their interviews that mm. they are doing now for for the for the movie. It's hilarious. There's a really good one. I, I shared it on Facebook where they went on because this movie is once again based on a Disney World attraction called Jungle Cruise, mm. uh, just like Pirates of the Caribbean was. And uh, they went on the Jungle Cruise train and, and Emily and Jack Whitehall, who's also freaking amazing. And he has a very good story arc in this. Uh, I really, really liked it. Um, uh, he is saying the stuff that they need to say for the people in their ears. <laughs> and it's like, you know, it's the stupidest things you can imagine. And it's so funny. Like, even they are laughing at it, but it's it, it just, you know, you're just like, if you were sitting there, you were like, oh my God, these people are full of themselves. <laughs> but it's fantastic. It's, it's funny. It was exciting. Uh, it was, you know, it was ridiculous at points like you know obviously these things would never happen and that's the, that's where the magic lies and and i just uh, i adore this movie i watched it two times now like that's how much i adore it <laughs> so i highly recommend jungle cruise i think i saw a trailer for it months ago now um and thought it looked very fun mm. um I will, I will probably find it at some point in the near distant future and be like oh this looks like a, a good afternoon um, it is it is it truly is so I, I, I recommend it to you as well mm. 100% very very good entertainment so yeah it's great it's freaking great I loved everyone in it it was yeah, it looked like a lot of fun a lot of fun um, yeah I have a little thing I did watch I watched oh. this the other day. Okay. Um, it it wasn't uh, a film or a TV show. It was actually a play. Oh. Um. Uh. Hang on. I'm seeing. I'm, I I want to see real quick if it's um available still to watch before I start talking about it uh, too much. Oh yes, please. Um. But it is a. It was an off Broadway play put on um uh, a little uh, earlier this year that they filmed and then released um called uh, the Great Filter. Mm. Um, which stars um, Jason Ralph and uh, Trevor Einhorn, nice. who were both in The Magicians. Yes. Um, and uh, I believe Jason Ralph's wife, Rachel uh, Brosnan, uh, produced it. And it's like nice. part of their kind of company, which is called Looks Like a Great Time. Mm. Um, which, if anybody saw the tweet I said about when I watched it, it was, it was, it was a joke. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I made a joke, um, but it was really good. It was about it, the the whole play is about these two astronauts who have just come back to Earth after um, some kind of mission in an attempt to like terraform, which I think went wrong in some form or another. And they're waiting. They've got this countdown clock uh, in this like really interesting set, and they're waiting for it to count down because apparently at the end of the countdown they'll be released from this sort of quarantined place that they're in, and they'll mm. go out for a press conference to talk about it. But pretty quickly they realize that um at the beginning of this day nobody's kind of returning their uh messages mm -hmm. and it's a bit of a sort of it's very off broadway-esque in the sort of, sort of play sense where it's like very fast dialogue which is really interesting to the ear and and, and incredibly performed by jason mm -hmm. ralph and trevor einhorn they were both fucking brilliant in it mm -hmm. um but it's like it's a it's one of those sort of degradation of like oh shit, something's happening here, I'm getting no answers and therefore I'm going to spin out about this one particular thing because of all this other stuff that's happened before it. I would yeah. say, um, I again, I can't actually find if it's still available because when I, when I bought my, I, I bought it for a live stream thing and then it was like three days after the fact you could um, continue to, you could uh, um, stream it afterwards. But I think, I think it's available to rent still. Um, I think it's like eighteen dollars, mm. and the money goes to. Uh, hang on a second. Let me see if I can find where the money. Uh, it goes to the Cultural Solidarity Fund, which is something nice. that I don't actually. An organization that's uh, providing emergency relief grants to artists affected by the pandemic. Nice. Nice. Um, nice, nice. Yeah, it's a really. It's. I mean, it was really good, um, and it was just nice to be able to see because, especially folks who uh, watch The Magicians, know that. Mm -hmm. Trevor Einhorn played, um, oh god, I'm blanking on his name. Shit, no, 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 no. Oh, he makes wait. food and, and, um, 
right? Oh, he's so, he's so good in it as well. Um, God damn. Jason Ralph obviously plays Quinton. We yes. know this. Yes. Um, and him, uh, I'm fucking. I'm so sorry, Trevor. I th I think you're brilliant in it. I'm just really bad with names. Um. <laughs> We're gonna find it. We're gonna find Josh. it. Josh, he's Josh. He plays Josh. Josh. There you go. He plays Josh in the Venetians. And the two of them became really close friends over it. And getting to see them kind of play off of each other in this sort of setting is, was very good. And I have to say that, especially, I think Jason Ralph gives uh, just the most spectacular performance that, to the point where I was sitting there going, God, I fucking, I missed what being able to watch him. It reminded me very much of um, getting to see him perform that monologue in his second to last episode of the mm -hmm. of the magicians where mm -hmm. he kind of talks about like fuck fillery it's not what i wanted it to be and it's and, and all this sort of stuff yeah um it's got that same sort of like vibe to it where i was like oh shit he's really good at this i love this so much <laughs> i will say if anybody goes into it this is not one of those plays where you actually get any answers at the end of it it's about like the stuff that happens in between which was a bit disappointing because i was sitting there oh, going wait gosh. what what's happening i i wanted to know that would that would piss me off. I'm not gonna lie. Um, this is, which is why I say it's very much like one of those. It's very sort of like this is a play that kind of thing. Because I was sitting there going, "Well, there's still seven minutes left on the clock. There must be seven minutes of the play left." Nope. nope. Um, God damn it! God damn it! But it's fine because the performances were so good, and I really enjoyed um, the. Uh, it's been a while since I've been able to watch like a like a play mm. um, properly, and. Um, yeah, I think it's somewhere still available to like rent for like a, a small period, but I think it's only available until like a certain point in August. Yeah. So I'd recommend going to check that out. I'll probably see if I can do a bit more research when we're not recording and see if we can put it in the description because I would yeah, recommend yeah. it to people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, very much. It's, it's very good. It sounds yeah. very good. Yeah, I, I will check it out. Um, mm. Yeah. Great, 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 great stuff. Uh, what, what, what else? Wait, I, I watched so many things. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, oh, how could I go by this episode and not talk about my fucking favorite thing in the world, which is Kingdom? I was gonna say, is this is this what I? <laughs> it is. It is Kingdom. Yeah. Uh, they just came out with the special episode uh, called A Shin of the North. Uh, it's about one of the characters that they introduced at the end of season two. Uh, and it's uh, a 90 minute long uh, movie, basically. <laughs> but it's an extension mm. of um, of basically the whole story of, of Kingdom itself. And if you don't know what I'm talking about because you haven't listened to that episode of the podcast kingdom is a korean uh zombie tv series on netflix uh yep. it has two seasons at the moment and now this special episode and i said this many times and i will say it again it's better than walking Dead. it's better than any zombie tv show that you can watch and please watch it because it's fucking excellent and this movie just proved that it can get even better because oh my god I was blown away by it. Like I, I, I was glued to my own TV. I, uh, I was so uh, surprised by the twist at the end uh, that they managed to sneak in there. And now I am just watching every news and everything about Kingdom because, as of now, we do not have a confirmation on, on season two and Netflix, uh, season two, season three, Netflix. Mm -hmm. I, I need season three. I like. <laughs> I, I think I would die, <clears throat> if 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 I if if there were a season three. Just say I'm gonna just <laughs> tad bit of manipulative there. <laughs> and also, it's a company; it doesn't care about. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but still, please make season three because uh, the writer of of the series, whose name I cannot remember, and I seriously apologize. <laughs> but basically in an interview it was said that uh, uh, there's an idea for season 3 and it would be the perfect closure so I would even guess that season 3 would mean that it's, uh, it's the last season but you know if 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 they close it down nice nicely then I don't I don't mind I guess I much prefer a show that will go for a certain amount of seasons and then end properly than one that extends its life to the point of death you know, yeah, yeah. Um, it's a much better thing. I mean, fair, fair, but you know, I, 
I just love this show and it's really good. Mm. And, and please watch it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for speaking coming to of, my TED talk. <laughs> speaking of, of shows uh, uh, that ended, uh, I saw something recently which um, uh, was very exciting for me personally. Um, in that I have mentioned many times on here, this yes. lovely podcast, that I'm a very big fan of a show called Graceland. Yes. Um, starring one Aaron Tveit and many other wonderful people, mm -hmm. uh, one of whom is uh, a, a lovely man named uh, Brandon J. McLaren, who is currently yes. in the uh, Disney Plus show Turner and Hooch, which is oh, yes. out at the moment, yes, which yes, I yes. will get around to watching at some point because I think Brandon J. McLaren is a lovely guy. Mm -hmm. He's always been very... I, I've interacted with him like very, very briefly a couple of times on Twitter, and he's always been very nice. But um, him... He, I think Aaron Tveit said in an interview recently that he and Brandon J. McLaren like met up, wrote a little short based on, like as their characters in Graceland to be like a sort of epilogue type thing, Ooh. Uh, and filmed it over the course of a couple of days. Oh, and I'm like, guys, <laughs> please, I need this. Please tell me that you're going to be releasing this at some point soon. It's because um, Graceland was one of those shows that I have said before I loved very dearly, but the end of season three was a massive, like blow for it yeah, getting cancelled. Yeah, yeah. um, it was nearly as bad as if it had gotten it cancelled at the end of season two. Let me tell you that. But still, uh, when season three when they cancelled it after season three, I was like, nah. <laughs> but if it is actually because I think also uh, uh, Manny Montana might have been involved in it as well who played he played mm -hmm. johnny in the show yes. uh he's currently on nbc's good girls i don't know if that's actually still going i know they cancelled it recently but i don't yes. know if episodes are like still cancelled coming out or anything like that but um he was wonderful in it and if like if those guys are if that is actually a thing and <laughs> that's a thing that they're like putting together and they're planning to release i'm gonna lose my fucking mind <laughs> <laughs> understandable like, ah, it's been Six years, six years I think, yeah, yeah. since it got cancelled. So yeah. I'm like, oh, please, please, I need to, uh, I need, I need this in my life. Yeah. Please yeah. tell me how well Mike Warren managed to take down Briggs, because that's all I wanted to see. <laughs> but that's I mean, very excited about that. Fair enough. I I got really pissed off when they announced that Grace that is cancelled. I was like, what? Excuse Did me? you watch it all? Yeah. I don't remember us actually talking about this properly. <laughs> I did watch it, of course. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah Graceland was great. <laughs> Graceland was fucking great. Uh... I will. I like. I. I have uh, Briggs as a character is such a pain in the ass to me because he's like such an interesting character, but he's exactly the type of character I want to punch in the face ninety percent of the time. Oh yeah. Yep. Um, so anytime, especially to the end of season three, when Mike decked him after like being lied mm -hmm. to for the millionth time, I was like, yes, <laughs> get him, Mike. <laughs> And that's all I wanted from season four. I wanted to see Mike put him in jail because he sucks. Yeah, to be fair, that's that's yeah. <laughs> Even if Daniel Sanjata again did an amazing job, he's oh such my a God. like morally complicated and infuriating but great character. <laughs> um, that's that's very true. <laughs> yeah, see, I just find I can't any kind of character that it's like I'm gonna do a bunch of stuff, not tell anybody about it, and then get mad when you don't go along with my plan is a character I'm just gonna be angry at <laughs> the yeah. entire time. I mean, you're completely right there. But yeah, I, 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 I yeah, yeah. It's, it's still, it's still like, uh, I, I don't, I really don't understand. Like, you know, I understand because it's not making enough money. I was going to say it wasn't getting the views, which was really disappointing. Yes, yes. But, uh, you know, it happens with so many good shows. And I'm like, mm -hmm. people watch good shows, please. <laughs> I need them to we stay alive. <laughs> It used to be on Prime, but I think it's gone off Prime now, which is a bit of a shame. But like, yeah, please yeah, watch yeah. Graceland, please. Yeah, you yeah definitely. Blood, it's so good. Yes, Kingdom and Graceland. Put it on your on your watch list. Mm -hmm. uh, Get on your list. Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, and then. Um, what have you got next? Yeah. On your oh, list. oh, 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 yes. Uh, so this is on me because I mm -hmm. I counted it wrong. Uh, I decided that I will watch the Bad Batch. Uh, once it finishes, because right. uh, I don't know what it is about the Star Wars animated shows. I just want to watch them all at once. <laughs> it seems like something that probably would play better being able to just sort of 
yeah, get into just, entirely. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and, you know, I just decided, like, you know, I can't it out. Like, there's going to be this much of an episode. And, uh, you've you've, you've really... still got an episode left, haven't you? I have to. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell i and and you know what i realized it when i was watching uh, episode 14 that just came out on friday and i was like wait no <laughs> no you did it you fucked yourself i fucked it up i was so angry with myself i will also say that i think that the bad match easily easily beats the other animated star wars shows i'm not gonna lie like i God, like, I, it took me a lot of time to get hooked on, on Clone Wars. I'm not gonna lie, like, there was, like, mm. yeah, it was a rocky road at the beginning. I, 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 I think I started to love Clone Wars once Darth Maul was brought back, uh, because I love Darth Maul. That's, you know, I love him. He's great. And Sam mm. is great. Um, and obviously the final season of Clone Wars was fucking amazing. Um, Rebels, I did like Rebels, but at points, it felt like it was a bit of a, it was a bit messy, and I, I just, I, a lot of people were gonna throw rocks at me, but at the beginning, I hated Ezra. <laughs> I just couldn't. I was like, oh god, this kid is just so fucking annoying. <laughs> <laughs> but then I, I got used to him, and and he's actually great. So I can't wait to see him. And and if the rumors are true, I can't wait to see him, see him in. Ah- Ahsoka, uh, the live action uh, series. Mm. Uh, but this, first of all, the first episode is one hour long, a bit over one mm. hour, and it's yeah. it's just so freaking good. Like right from there uh, through all the like I I like all the episodes. Like I love the filler episode as well because obviously every show has a filler episode, um, and I even love that one. Uh, like it it didn't feel forced it, it it didn't feel like it was too much i like the new addition of the characters I, I i love um how they decided to go with the story you know obviously this is bad batch is playing uh after order uh 66 was given out 66 am i saying it right yes 66. yes yes thank you <laughs> um Six, and um, yes. and uh because uh they are the defected uh, clones, uh, the Bad Batch, they are not affected by it. Uh, so, well, you know. You could say that they were a bad batch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's literally the joke. I'm not saying anything original. <laughs> it's still funny, though. Oh, God. Uh, uh, anyway, anyway, uh, I will say that hats off in front of D. Bradley Baker, who's the voice of the clones, like, you know, every one of them. And oh my god, he's doing such a fucking amazing job. Like, I already knew he's great from Rex and, you know, the other characters. Uh, but uh, uh, these ones are just magnificent. Magnificent. I think there's a couple of characters in there that are like a like a duo of aliens that are voiced by Sam Regal and Liam O'Brien. Um yes, or Critical Role same. That's good. Co- um, that's correct. Um which I only know about because they've tweeted about it a couple of times and I'm mm. like, oh that's cute. Yes. Um Which just makes me happy because I'm like, eh. Yep, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They I, I, I think I already watched the episodes where they were in. Mm. They've been in a couple, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did more than one. Yep. Yeah, that's great. Oh, of course. They are they are awesome. I can confirm. <laughs> that's good to hear. I'm, I'm, that makes me very happy. Yes. Uh, also, please watch it. Uh, uh, I know it took you a long time to watch The Mandalorian. Here's well. the thing. I cannot over... Like, I can't express enough how little I care. <laughs> About... Like, it, it's just... It, I don't... I, it, I feel like I've told you this many times. I don't really care about Star Wars that much. <laughs> I don't, it, it would just be, be me be watching a show that I don't have that much interest in over a bunch of shows that I actually have a lot of interest in and still haven't watched. Um. Okay, okay. Here's, here's my way to convince you to watch it. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you remember our talk uh, about, you know, uh, the... Well, what was it? Wait, 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 wait. I, I will have to think back. Um, 
the old man, uh, like you know that that trope that happens in Logan in The Last of Us and and many. many oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah. This has that, and it's it's amazing. <laughs> mm. It's so well executed that I mm. think it's one of my one of my favorite interpretations of of that. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's really really well done. I just. Like I remember the trailer came out and it was just like, or like they announced that they were doing it and it. I think mean, there was a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I just don't care about Star Wars that much. <laughs> I wish it, it's one of these things now that I think it, it honestly I think it lives in the same place in my brain as like why I can't get into Lord of the Rings as much, where it's like <gasps> law, and it's just all law, and it feels a bit like if you don't understand all the law, you're missing out on so much shit. And I just, I just, it's too big for me to, to give a shit. <laughs> I have told you that I could, I'd like, I liked Lord of the Rings fine, but I also watched it when I was like 16. Um, so it was not something I grew up with at all. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to go back to it and give it another shot, to be honest. Um, yes, and like, please. actually sit down <laughs> and like pay attention to it properly and everything. But like, um, yes, please. <laughs> it's just, it, it, I find that. I find things with like substantial like law bibles worth of shit to be sort of I guess tainted in a way by especially the nerd culture that surrounds them because it's like you can't you, you go in you, if you go on the internet and be like I'm a Star Wars fan there's going to be some uh, asshole that's going to come along and start yelling at you because you don't know everything oh, and yeah, I can't be I don't, I don't I just I that because that's so prevalent when it comes to things like Star Wars yeah. that I just want to shut off because I don't care about like that. Um, oh man, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Star Wars. I, I, I feel like I've, I've said this before. Star Wars to me had like um, childhood nostalgia um, that it doesn't have as much anymore. I think the originals will always have that kind of nostalgia to me, and yeah. and the prequels. But like beyond that, it's just like, yeah. <laughs> I like this fine. It's not my nerdy thing. But you did like the Mandalorian. Yeah, but the Mandalorian fe- felt the Mandalorian felt like it, 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 yes, the Mandalorian felt sort of only uh, the the reason I like the Mandalorian is because it feels very much like a new thing that it just happens to be set in the same universe as opposed to like here's another chapter of all the lore that you need to keep up with in order to understand what's going on. And even then, I like The Mandalorian a lot. I don't rank it among, like, things I get super nerdy about, right? Do you see what I mean? No. <laughs> no? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> also, what are you talking about? Star Wars doesn't have much lore. I only have, like, six books about it, so I don't know what you're referring to. Well, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, oh, okay. It's not like people literally get into arguments about whether or not the extended universe is canon in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> Oh god, uh, the bad match is still great, and I think you would enjoy it if you started watching it. But just saying, you know, just saying, <clears throat> you really should watch it. I mean, it's okay. It's, no, it's not. But it's you know. Anyway, <laughs> okay. Let me let me think. Did I watch anything else before I talk about the last thing I watch? Um, I will cut in a little bit quickly yes. and say that because we haven't actually spoke since I did this. I watched all of Ted Lasso in a day. Oh yes, you did. And it's fucking brilliant. And if people are like, okay, I know that people don't want to get into the streaming service, and I totally get it. But if you happen to have a PlayStation Five, you can get six months of Apple TV for free at the moment. Yes. Um, which you can then just cancel at the end of the six months because you know, like I, I understand there's not a whole lot on Apple TV mm-hmm. that's worth keeping it for. But Ted Lasso is definitely worth at least using that six month, um, sort of free little thing that they've they've given to you because it is genuinely so great um it lives like i said in the same category as something like Shit's creek or mm. the good place or anything like that because uh jason sudeikis is fucking brilliant oh, he is. um i've been meaning to watch ted lasso for an age for ages um just sort of like i've been sort of generally curious about it because it's one of those things that i didn't know what it was about for a really long time i just knew that people loved it a lot and then it was like oh he's an american football coach who comes over to england to teach like football yeah. or like teach co- coach he doesn't know anything about football that's kind of the whole point yeah <laughs> um but he's so incredibly positive and and he that kind of it was like i watched like the first 
I watched the first episode uh, whilst I was in the midst of, you know, helping you out with your project, yes. uh, with the book and everything. And I was like, I'm just going to watch one because I need to, something to start my day. And then I ended up watching all 10 episodes of the first season. <laughs> <laughs> just watched all of it and I was like okay I'll get I'll get I'll get some work done after this one maybe after this one maybe after this one <laughs> but season two has just started there's two episodes out and they're out every Friday and it's really good uh, I'm just a very big fan of um everybody in it I mean Juno Temple is fucking so fun mm. as Keely um I think Brett Goldstein is also uh, a definite highlight as as Roy Kent mm. um and I, I said this, I literally said this to my mum as I was watching the, like, I don't like football, never cared about it. I don't like most of the culture around it. Mm. I don't like, it, especially here in England, Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> and I've never, I've just never understood it. But like, first time in my life I've ever watched, and it's like fake football, you know, it's part yeah. of, it's part of a narrative, but I'm sitting there like getting really emotional. I just turned to my mum and went, this is the first time I've ever been emotional about football. <laughs> <laughs> It's the um, story behind it, and there's like you know, there's like it's it's the it's um it was reminding me of the there was a scene in the West Wing, yes, where um the pre President Bartlett was talking about I can't remember what the film was, but it was like within the it, the, the the whole thing was like people coming together to kind of help somebody else that kind of thing and that kind of team energy thing, yes, um and it was about like. Uh, people, it it ended up being this whole thing of like they set this this um moment up for the end of the episode where he was like he was talking about the scene from this movie where it turned out like like a bunch of people came in and like I can't remember the specifics of it because I'm like getting the 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 scene from the movie that he was mm -hmm. describing and the actual scene in the show confused. Yeah. Yeah. But within the episode, people keep like donate, they keep coming in and giving like money. Mm -hmm. And like putting checks down and then he kind of gets up from his desk and walks out and there's like a whole line of people who are coming in to give in their like checks and it was just like it's got that kind of same vibe and that was like yeah. the, the thing that i was thinking of i wish i could remember the specifics of it properly so i could describe it better <laughs> <laughs> but um it was it was it's also one of my favorite like sort of like one of the ones that you don't hear about very often um sort of yeah. scenes yeah, in the yeah. west wing Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember like really getting choked up. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I I know which one you're referring to, but I couldn't describe it any better. To be fair, I really, I really wish I could remember like the movie or like the actual scene yeah. in the movie that he was describing better. But like, alas, it's it's um, not gonna come up. It's just like I there's a um an episode of a show called um Game Changer that's on Dropout, which I've been trying to get so many people to sign up for recently, oh my God. <laughs> including everybody who follows us on our Twitter account. Um, yeah, that's true. Um, is the, I did a, I did a whole thing, um, but there's an episode called uh, Lie Detector, which is actually out on YouTube that you can watch, um, where one of the um, uh, one of the questions is what makes you emotional, and the the player that he was asking it to was uh, his name's Teo, and he was like, it's people in movies who um, come together for like a, a common cause, like that scene in Spider Man where they all kind of um, yes help Sp Spider Man Two where they help him up and they all the the the, the commuters on the train help him up. And then they like give him the, the mask, and they say, "We won't tell anybody." And it's like, "Oh God, yeah. <laughs> this is so much." Yeah. That vibe. That is that is the vibe of the show, you know. Good, good. I will. I will definitely watch it. But as I said, uh, I will wait for season yes. two to play. Out. I think that's fair because I, there's. I, I'm. I'm having to struggle a bit at the moment, having to wait week to week for for, for season two to like fully. Uh, or I'm like I watch an episode and I'm like, no, I want more. Yeah. Yeah, that's what my mom said as well. You said it as well, so I'm like, I, I will just wait. Yeah, just, just you can. You, that's fair. You can wait, but it's like I, it, you'll. I think you'll really like it. I, I love how much they've managed to like it. Like I, it, it's, it was one of those things where it's like if you make something that is like an American coming to Britain, it doesn't always feel like the Britain that they're showcasing feels actually very British. Mm -hmm. It feels like a very weird sort of like romanticized like a, a, a you know American Anglo sort of fetishization of Britain yeah. sometimes. This actually feels like they've put taken an American and put him in Britain because the number of stuff that comes up, I'm like, yeah, feels right. I, especially all the stuff that takes place in the pub that they that he goes to that uh, <laughs> is like right around his corner. Yeah, it's oh. perfect. I love it. I can I can talk about that all day. Uh, <laughs> also, I will quickly plug in that uh, if you're going to get that six-month uh, uh, Apple TV thing mm -hmm. on PS5, 
right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. He, he has uh, a few recommendations from oh. this truly. Uh, one of them is Defending Jacob with Chris Evans, who's fucking awesome in it. And I'm not just mm -hmm. saying because I have a crush on him. He's actually really good. <laughs> uh, uh, fair warning, uh, the ending is fucking infuriating. I was, I almost threw out my new iPad off the window. I was like, no! Nah! Okay. <laughs> I was really frustrated with that ending. And I heard that the, the book that it's based on is, is ending quite similarly, but it, it has a few changes. And I was like, yeah, no, mm -mm. I hate this ending. I fucking hated that ending. Um, and then uh, the other thing is uh, featuring one of my all-time favorite actresses is Truth Be Told. Uh, and the main cast includes Octavia Spencer, who I uh. adore. And... Oh, hang on. Th that's got season two or something coming yes, out recently, it's been, it... isn't it? Because um, Hale Appleman's going to be in it. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, I did. I saw the trailer for that on his Instagram. Yep. <laughs> oh my, I that honestly piqued my curiosity because I was like, I haven't seen Hale in anything since fucking Elliot, so I might, I might watch it. <laughs> yep. Uh, so it, season two is coming out on the twentieth of August. It's gonna be a, a weekly release uh, thing mm. again. Uh, season one was great. I really enjoyed season one. There was. Will you tell me what it's about? Because I don't actually know. Oh, you don't know. Uh, so basically, really. uh, uh, Octavia plays a journalist, and mm -hmm. uh, she writes a piece uh, about Aaron Paul's character, uh, which. Oh, I do know about this show. Yeah, <laughs> which yes. uh, uh, basically pushes Aaron Paul's character in, mm. into jail. Uh, uh, but then, uh, years later, she realizes that she might have made a mistake, uh, mm. and she she wants to make it right. Uh, so you know, she starts going after what really happened uh, because she feels like that the truth wasn't really told, told. and uh, it. Uh, I get it. Truth be told. <laughs> you see what I did there? Uh, <laughs> I get it now. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it, it gets really, really exciting. Uh, Lizzie Kaplan is in it as well. Uh, oh, I love her. Yeah, uh, uh, she's great. Uh, and, uh, yeah, season two is not going to have Aaron Paul in it, which is, which, it, 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 I'm a, I'm a bit shame. sad. It's a, I'm a bit sad, but it's, it's going to have Kate Hudson. Oh, very good. So, you know, it's... I was going to say, Aaron Paul, he's a busy guy. He's got all other stuff on. That's very fair. That's very... They are shooting uh, Westward season four, which I'm very excited for. Uh, yep. So, yeah. I uh, should watch season three. I should finish season two. Oh, my God. Did you... Come on. <laughs> I never finished season two. Come on. And I didn't finish season two. And I was like, I've got to finish season two because then i got to go around to watching season three because season three's got Aaron Paul in it. And I love Aaron Paul. And I just didn't. And he's fucking great in it. Uh, yeah, he's great in everything, though. Yeah, he isn't is. he? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, I, uh, I want, yeah, I, I, I really want to get to London Film and Comic Con because he's coming, uh, and I, I need, I need to meet Aaron Paul. I'm not gonna lie. Um, what else? What else? Uh, calls is is um, a series. It's it's literally calls. Like it's it's you. There are no uh, like video or anything. There's there's. Uh, they are acting through phone calls and it's brilliant. oh right it's, it's... i was trying to figure out if you were saying calls or coals oh. um and i was like is it about mining or <laughs> but yeah that, yeah that... You, you you mentioned this one before it sounded very interesting it's fucking great like i really enjoyed it like i was i once again i was drawing and listening to it basically mm. and and i found myself uh just looking up at the screen even though basically nothing is happening it's just sound waves uh, mm. but they did a really great job with the sound waves as well to be fair uh and because it, it it was just so captivating they did such a great job uh and it's it's you know it's mind bending it's definitely in the mind bending uh category mm. so highly highly recommended um and there's the Op a Oprah Winfrey show sorry uh is is also very very great like it yes please yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> uh, there's a sh there's a movie coming out. I think on. I think it's a movie, but not. I I, I think it's it's definitely coming out. I just can't remember if it's, if it's a movie or TV show, but I think it's a movie. Okay. Um, and I cannot for the life of me remember what it's called off the top of my head right now. Yes. But it's about the only. She's a um. Her whole family is deaf. 
apart from her so she kind of becomes like she's she's kind of grown up as like her family's sort of translator and like linked to the world sort of thing mm -hmm. and then she and she joins this choir and it kind of becomes maybe her chance to like have a life of her own but then she's like does, is this going to be like it, it's kind of that thing of like um responsibility to family versus like what it is that you want yourself i cannot remember what it is called off the top of my head at the moment but it looks really good and marley matlin's in it so it's like <laughs> come on there you go there you go very important uh i will also plug in one more thing i haven't watched it so i don't know if it's actually good or not uh but because we love dylan o'brien here i will say uh, that there's a TV show on Apple TV Plus called Amazing Stories, and he's in the first episode called Yes, Salad. I remember. I remember when this came out. Mm. Um, it, one, it's the really weird sort of sci-fi sci one that yes. I'm thinking of, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember when this came out because I think it is it is it a Terry Gilliam thing? I think am I so. making that up? Because I yeah, I remember when this came out because Tumblr went batshit for it because obviously. Tumblr has a lovely, nice following of. No, it's um, a Steven Spielberg one. I'm sorry. Oh. So, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Now I'm interested. Okay. What's it called again? Uh, amazing Stories. Ah, uh, yes. Amazing Stories. I thought. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. I think he was in. I think he. No, you know what I'm thinking of? Yeah. Uh, this was an Apple TV thing. There was there was a Terry Gilliam series, but it was on. It was a YouTube original. Yes. I can't remember what it was called off the top of my head now, but it also had Dylan O'Brien in it for a little bit. Oh, nice. No, oh, it's called in, in, in John Williams is the yeah the music composer for it. Yeah, I wish I could remember what it was called now. The the thing I'm thinking of doesn't matter. <laughs> um. <laughs> Weird City. That's fine. I found Weird it. It's called Weird That's City. That's the one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I know about that one as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on the same place. We know yeah, what about. Yeah. Obviously. Um, if, and if oh, you... Yeah. What? Last one. Schmigadoon. Four Schmigadoon. episodes are out at the moment. Yeah. Got two left. It's really great. I'm having a good time with it. Um, yeah. It's just a lot of fun. It's very silly. I think it's probably one of those ones that's going to be way better to enjoy when all the episodes come out because the episodes are quite short and I feel like bereft once the episode ends. Yeah. Um, and I'm like, I want more of this though. Um, I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna be way more enjoyable to watch from one end to the other instead of just coming at it week to week. Um, but yes, it's that's very what fun. I am waiting um, for. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I think, I think you're gonna have a better time watching it all in one go. Probably. But I've, I've already committed to watching it once a week, so nice. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep at it. Yep. I mean, not a bad, not a bad decision. Um, mm. I will also quickly say a, 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 a big shame on YouTube and their originals. Because the only original I watched from YouTube is called Origin, uh, and it was a sci-fi series. And one of the uh, cast members was Tom Thurton, who you mm. may also know as Draco Malfoy. Uh, mm -hmm. And it was so good, and they fucking cancelled it after one season. Yeah, I think that's a that's a that's a YouTube thing, isn't it? Really, because they kept trying to be like, we're gonna make TV shows, and then everyone was like, we don't want to pay for our YouTube. <laughs> It was so good, like you know, like um, uh, Natalia Tanya is in it. Tom Felton, uh, that was another bigger name in there. But you know, everyone was great in it. To be fair, uh, Tom Felton's uh, episode was one of the best ones uh, out of all of them. I'm not gonna lie. And uh, the series was directed by people like P uh, Paul Weiss, uh Anderson, uh, and then Jonathan Teplitsky, Ashley Way, and, and people like that. It was pretty good show and i am very frustrated by the fact that it it got cancelled because uh mm. they ended on um i almost said hangover <laughs> i was like everybody got real drunk in then <laughs> <laughs> so on a cliffhanger uh that's the one um yeah so i wish someone would pick it up but i think at this point it's not gonna happen because it it was it, it was a 2018 uh tv series yeah i think it's it sounds like it's done i'm very disappointed uh, so that's uh, I cancelled my YouTube premium after that. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> One of the few people who had YouTube premium. <laughs> um, okay, and then uh, let's let's go to the last. Let's get into it. Let yes, the last thing I I watched, which is also uh, a highly recommended uh, thing, and I waited a long time to watch it. <laughs> and I will say this: you're not gonna be happy about it. Uh, the thing. That I was afraid uh, of that it's it's gonna happen. It got overhyped yes. for you. Yes. No. 
Yes. That's a shame. So, it's, yeah. It's it's the Queen's Gambit. She watched the Queen's, Queen's Gambit. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. Like, I, I ate it up. Like, I, I watched the whole season in, in a day. Like, mm. I, that's a fact. So I'm not saying it's bad. But right. I, it just, it, it, you had, like, a level of expectation mm. that could never be reached. I understand. No, not at all. Like uh, I was, uh, that, that there were things I was disappointed by. Among, I was like, I, I kind of getting a bit tired of the, oh, the really smart person is a drug addict and alcoholic, and she has to get through that to be, oh, and I'm like, ah, yay again, uh, and I was hoping that they're gonna drop it after the first episode. Uh, when she takes all those wheels and you know uh, the chest is all. Oh God, no! This is a, this is a, it's it's a this is. I think I will say, I think that that um, trope isn't as well play isn't as played out um, oh, yeah. as in, in terms of it's not as played out through women as it is through men. Mm. Um, so I, I, I it didn't bother me at all especially as i think it really makes sense for her as a character um yeah i'm not saying it doesn't don't get me wrong. right but you're just it's just generally yeah. right i'm just i'm just tired of him i'm, not gonna I understand. Lie. I'm like ha ah, you know you have this very smart girl uh and then you had me question if she's only smart because of the drugs uh, and you know it, it will I, I, at first uh, when I started watching it I was like oh it's gonna come out as a hoax and it, it's gonna turn out that you know she was only able to do it because of the drugs and blah 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 and I was like oh, it's not a sci-fi no it's not it's, it's turning out like that I, I dropped she's that just, idea she's, she's just a very fucked up young girl who got really good at something and then ended up in like the best in her field and didn't know how to deal with that being yeah. the only kind of facet of her personality. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I did really like it still. Like, I'm it's not. Right. It, it, it was really, really well done, uh, honestly. Like, uh, you know, I did enjoy it. I would say that uh, Jolene is the best character. She is. And she gets woefully too little screen time. <laughs> yeah. I, I needed more Jolene. Uh, she was fucking awesome. Uh, she rules. And then. Uh, Thomas Brody Sangster's uh, Chess Cowboy. Yes, Chess Cowboy is awesome. Come and on. he's great. He's he's just great. In, 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 and and I love that he still has a kid's face. I think he's like thirty-two at this point. He's no, not a he's, child. What thirty-two? He's my age. We were born in the same year. He's thirty. <laughs> Come on, oh, okay. don't, don't make I us just, older. Don't I, look, I, did, I didn't know that. I thought he was around. He was. I knew he was somewhere in his like thirties, and it was at the right at the beginning. Thirty-two and thirty are not that far away from each other. <gasps> How dare you? <laughs> They're also I'm, not old. I'm old. You're not old. That is not old. <laughs> you can understand when you get there, okay? I'm like literally six years away. It's not that far, <laughs> and it's not that old. <laughs> What are you talking about, woman? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, <laughs> anyway, back to the point of I am very glad to see Harry Melling, also known as... Oh, he's so good in it. Yeah, as, you know... So good. Uh, he's getting so many roles, and, and he's mm. proving to be much more than Dudley Dursley. Um, Especially during... Um... Shit, did the Queen Gambit come out last year? That's I honestly yeah. can't remember. Yeah. Yeah, 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 2020 was a really good year for him. Yeah, oh, very good year. That will, um, uh, that will uh, made me. What was it? No, that's the conjuring film. I can't. <laughs> Katie. The the old guard was the the other big thing old that he God. was. That, yeah. but, no, that was the other. Um, the even. Uh, uh, the Tom Holden. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the the, um, the the fucking shit. The devil. The the, the 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 devil all the time. That's that's the one. Not not the devil made me do it. That's the conjuring film. <laughs> No, the devil is happy because we. I think we kept fucking up the title when we did the review on it as well. <laughs> oh God! Uh, but you know, I, I am very happy for him. He's he's really really great. He's a great actor. Um, mm. um, I was very taken back by how quickly they killed off the stepmom Alma. It's yeah. It's 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 so few episodes. Um, yeah. <laughs> that it was kind of like I figured that she was gonna go. I mean, very quickly from the moment she starts coughing everywhere, it's like, well, she's not long for this world. Yeah, 
I was like, what? Wait, what? Why, why did I... You I just wasn't expecting to. I like. I literally. I stuck it on as like. Oh, I've seen a couple of people talking about this. I'll just watch it, and then I ended up watching it until like two in the morning because I was yeah. just like, "This is so good." Um, uh, I think my favorite thing about it was watching the last episode and seeing her like kind of fuck up all of her relationships, only mm -hmm. for them to like all call her and at the end oh my God. and like learn how to be. I genuinely was like, like I said, two a.m. I'm like crying. Yeah. That definitely got me as well. They just love her so much. Yeah, yeah. Even though, to be fair, she doesn't really deserve she, it. She doesn't deserve it, but like that's <laughs> the thing. She kind of realizes that like she doesn't think that people are gonna care about her because she's had a whole life of people not actively caring about her, like yeah. outside of like her gift and like all of this sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah, and then, yeah. but it's like I, we, my friend uh, and I kept referring to all of the guys that get like really because it's like everybody kind of goes, "Oh my god, a girl playing chess!" And then immediately after playing her, they're like, "I love you." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So we just start referring to them as Beth and her simps. <laughs> He's not. Look, uh, they are her sims. We're just gonna ah, go. I hate that. They all love her. Oh my god. Uh, but yes, I love this scene. I loved. Uh, I loved how human they were. Mm. When, when she won in the end, like, you know, yeah. all those big chess players, everyone was like, not just, you know, going full angry and, oh my god, a woman boo me. No, I think, yeah, that's my favorite, honestly, my favorite thing about it is the fact that um nobody was just, like, so angry and, like, mm. it, it, like uh, upset that, like, they lost to a girl. It was always just like, you know what? You're fucking good at this and I, I'm appreciative. And, yeah. and I, I, there's, there's mutual respect here and I'm like, it's just nice to see. It's yeah. nice to see. I, I really, I really did enjoy that about it. Altogether, like, yeah, it's freaking great. Uh, it's a great it's, show. It's it's a great show, but uh, it was definitely overhyped for me. Like, that's fair. I think that's fair. I think oh, I think oh, if you can come out of a show that's been overhyped for you and still say, yeah, it was still great. Yeah. I think it it generally means that it's a good show. It is. It is. <laughs> I I didn't expect it to go like this. Like I. Ex in my head it was a completely different story for some reason i think that will also like it fuck you up every time to be honest when oh, you go yeah. into something expecting it to what we want it, like that's honestly part of the reason why i don't think i enjoyed moon nearly as much as i wanted to because i was expecting it to be something totally different and then when it wasn't that i was a bit like oh this is a bit disappointing but like i don't think that necessarily means that it's not a bad movie it's just not what i wanted it to be and it's like so you kind of have to make that separation of like is this like is is the thing that I'm watching not as good as I thought it was, or is it just that my expectations of the thing have completely overridden my ability to enjoy the thing as it is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's a very important part of of, of recognizing your own um, reaction to media, and you need mm. to be able to be on critical of that and like go, am I coming into this? Am I about to go complain about this thing because it's actually terrible? Mm. Or am I complaining about it because it's not what I wanted it to be? And if yeah. it's not what you wanted it to be, have you considered shutting the fuck up? Because <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of people who probably could do with shutting the fuck up. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, I I kind of am getting tired of, of uh, tweets like uh, uh, daily reminder that uh, Andrew Garfield is the best Spider-Man. That's, that's the last thing I saw. And I did comment on it because otherwise I just... You know, I just don't care. But uh, I am it's just like, getting. You can be your favorite Spider Man. Doesn't mean he's yeah. necessarily the best Spider Man. I don't think. Really, I don't think anybody can objectively say who the best Spider Man is. No that is can. going to can always be, an, like that is always going to be an opinion. Um, and it's like there's going to be a lot of people who love this kind of Spider Man, and there's going to be a lot of people who love this kind of Spider Man. It doesn't matter. You can all exist in the same fucking place. Yeah. Just so, allow it to be. Yeah, basically, what what I assume he wrote is. A reminder that Andrew Garfield is still the best live-action Spider-Man, and that I uh, I don't comment on these things, but I, w I went like this correction. A reminder that Andrew Garfield is still the best live-action Spider-Man for me, and I understand that not everyone thinks the same way as I do, and that's fine. Because people... We don't... Not all of us think Andrew is the best Spider-Man. Doesn't mean he was... He wasn't good. I loved him very dearly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the, or uh, not everyone of us thinks that um, 
who, who should I say? Uh, I'm not going to say that because that's like, you know, uh, I don't know. Like, Hawking Phoenix was, was a great Joker, but you can't think that. That's fine. Just don't make this, you know, unshakable. Um, yeah, I. Nonsense, I've, basically. Because I've it's, gotten it's, really frustrated recently with this, like, just generally people coming forward and like expressing opinion as fact yeah and then getting really annoyed when other people try to bring nuance to the conversation i'm like don't, no you've just come in here and you've said this thing is correct and somebody else has gone well actually i feel like in for me in this sense and i watched this happen in a, in a discord i'm a part of recently where they mm. were like i think uh, where they went there wasn't enough of this thing in there and then somebody mm. was like well i don't know i feel like this this and that and the other and then they and then like a bunch of people tried to have like an actual conversation and then they were like why are you dogpiling on me and i'm like oh my god shut the f just go away now like you had an opinion i actually agreed with entirely yeah. like fully agreed with everything that you were saying but now you're being shitty about it and yeah. i don't want to listen to you anymore yeah Yo, it's, it's called an opinion it's your opinion and that's fine, you know, you are allowed to have your opinion, but don't present your opinion as facts. Because... I think, the, yeah, the only time I'm going to get shitty with people, like actively shitty, um, is when you start coming at me and acting like um, uh, my opinion is less valid than your opinion. Oh, yes. So if we're having a conversation about something and I say something like, oh, I think that that's shit right mm. and then you start being like well it's actually good um you may have to and i have to also be conscious of this as well because i know that i'm very stubborn in mm. in a lot of my sort of like when i think something is good i'm like it's fucking good you should just fucking listen to me yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but at the same and at the same time i am also fully aware that um you know not everybody's gonna have the same taste as me and that is also fine yeah. so if i'm suddenly getting very if it, i know that i present i might be presenting my opinion as fact but i am also actively very aware that it is my opinion and you don't have to agree with me on that and i will respect you for that if you go actually you know what and if you if you kind of sit there and go well i mean i like it so and i'm like yeah fair enough I just think it's shit. Um, and we're just going to have to uh, agree to disagree on that. Yeah. But if you suddenly get like really double down and, and start getting angry with me, I'm just going to... You just, you're just going to have to get off this train because we're not going to be able to have a conversation about this properly. Yeah, we had that uh, experience with two people. <clears throat> just, yeah. I mean, I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I like to be salty sometimes. It's, I, it's just, there's no point, you know? I know. It's just, yeah. Ah, it helps my soul to heal. I'm, mm. I'm not going to name mm. it. Sorry. Uh, mm. <laughs> anyway, you are entitled to your own opinion, but if you get angry about it, fuck off. You're not going to Like have the shit you like. Yeah. Don't have to, like, um, what's the word? Justify yourself to other people. You don't have to justify yourself to me specifically. Yeah. If also, just yeah. as a point, because I know that I, like I said, I'm very passionate about the things that I do like. If you don't like something that I like, that is genuinely fine. Yeah. <laughs> just don't come up to me and tell me that I, it is shit and I'm wrong for liking it, because then I will get pissy at you. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's true for me as well. And also, like, you know, I always joke about it like i am so hurt that you don't like star wars the same way i like it but it's a joke like i i mm -hmm. really hope that everyone can understand that and it's i'm not serious like it's completely fine not liking star wars like you know i watched everything star wars i mm -hmm. do not expect anyone to do the same <laughs> it's fine <laughs> you know i'm not I, it's star wars for example for me is the same as shadow and moon like uh I told mm. you I'm not going to talk about Shadow and Boon online because I just don't I just I can't yeah I no can't. that's fair mm. um, just uh, talk to me about it because I have yeah. all the correct opinions exactly uh, I talked with you that was a joke <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know uh, Star Wars is the same everyone who knows me knows that I love Star Wars and that's enough for me I don't need people coming at me saying that I'm not a real Star Wars fan because uh, I didn't read uh, the comic, the 158 comic of, of this uh, Star Wars and uh, therefore I don't know anything about it. Fuck off. <laughs> I think I know uh, enough about Star Wars so I can say that 
I love Star Wars. And guess what? Even people who just only like three or four movies or not even that much, they can still say that they love Star Wars. Just say Get that gatekeepy shit out of here. We don't want it. No. Get it out. Get it out of here. Get out of Get it. <laughs> and- I'm going to... Oh, I'm sorry. If you have another point to make that you should do, because I was going to uh, tangent off a little bit, so you should keep going. No, I just wanted to say that thanks to coming to for coming late. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, my brain malfunctioned. I'm You're sorry. welcome. <laughs> I didn't get it. Uh, thank you for coming to our TED talk. That's what I tried to say. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go on. Uh, I'm going to tangent off a little bit and say that um, one of the things that I watch and drop out of every once in a while. Oh, actually, every couple of weeks when the episodes drop is a show called I'm Actually, which is all about pedantic corrections on nerdy things. Um, and um, it's a show that I love very dearly. There's a bunch of episodes up on YouTube, so if you're ever curious, you can watch them there. But the uh, the one of the, they when they release episodes, they put like a couple of things in the title, which they kind of talk about within the episode. Mm-hmm. And the most recent episode they dropped um, up on Dropout had the Umbrella Academy at the end of it, and I went. It's my time to shine. <laughs> Give me the fucking question. <laughs> Can confirm, I did get it right, but I did have to go back and look at the question before they actually started talking about it because I listened to it the first time and like audio processing went, I didn't hear anything wrong with that, so I just need to read it and have a look at it properly. <laughs> it, was, it was a very small and like specific bit, bit of wording, but I was like, uh-huh, no, I caught you right there. I know what you're about. It was. It basically suggested that only seven kids were born yeah. um, on the day that the um, on October first, nineteen eighty nine. But it's like actually, um, actually, forty three kids were born on that day. Reginald Hargrave got seven of them. Yes, that is that's the thing. I it's even like, know that because I saw the yeah. first episode. <laughs> Did you know? I forget that you haven't watched the whole thing, have you? No, <laughs> because <sighs> I I had bad experiences when I tried. So. I had my first pain episode when I watched Umbrella. Right. It's not because it's it's you know it caused it, but uh, it's it's a it's a it's a no it's not a good memory. Such, such a shame. It's such a good show. I know. I will at one point get to it, but uh, lately I haven't been feeling well, so I I don't think. Yeah, I understand. You don't want to re-enter that feedback no. loop. <laughs> no. I will. I will get around. Hard. You know, I I got around to Shit's Creek and Queen's Garden. It's true. So, and plus, when season three comes out, I'm gonna want to be able to talk about it. There you go. <laughs> you that's be... fine. It won't be until like next year at some point. Good. So you got time. Good. I I will probably watch it by then. Um. But yeah. All right. I I think. I think that's our episode, basically. I think that's good. Yeah. Yeah. We did talk about a lot of things. So yeah. We did. Bless you. And sorry. Thank you. <laughs> I thought I was being subtle. <laughs> no. <laughs> But it's fine. <laughs> uh, Out me. It's fine. Um, but anyway, uh, next week we're going to be back in video form as well. Yes, you'll be able to see our lovely faces again, yes, which will uh, be nice. Unless it explodes. Yeah, I really hope my face doesn't <laughs> explode again. Hopefully not. Uh, but, uh, you know, until then, enjoy our voices, our lovely voices. I'm yeah. sure you'll do lots of fun things on the video i don't know maybe you won't maybe you don't care that's but that's also fine you don't have to do anything you don't want to do <laughs> yeah, that's right <laughs> but um yeah for now mm-hmm. take care yeah Still bye everybody careful and yeah we love you bye. godspeed everybody why why bye, bye. 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 bye.